Getting a shot. Getting a shot. Oh, fuck. Get it. Get it. Pat again. Alright, so what's going on, people? Today I'm joined with Joe, so that's why I'm going. Yo. Yeah, so we're going to be going through uh, his transformation over the past year. So it began in. He started lifting in September, about the same time this time last year. Um, as a beginner, obviously he had a little bit of ruby gains, didn't really take it too seriously. But um, just training like five times a week, not very often. Well, actually, that's quite often, but not flat out during. His nutrition wasn't there, he was just beginning to start to love the gym, so getting in the process of the gym. Uh, then we got the 2020, so. January 2020, he started taking it a bit more seriously, like people do with their New Year's resolutions and whatnot. So we got there about two months l into the year, you know, he was getting his groove, his nutrition was starting to be a bit more better and training was spot again more on point. But then obviously a lockdown hit, there was Corona, so around February, March I think it was lockdown in there. Yeah. He, the gym was completely taken away from him and me. But, um, we had about well, six months of me personally. I usually in the videos before I was doing home workouts and stuff, and I was still eating at maintenance and make sure my food was decent and protein was high and that. But you didn't really do anything, did no, you? You didn't no. do no, no proper like home workouts, training, no good nutrition, just eating whenever he's hungry type of thing. Yeah. So you didn't really. You lost a bit of gains, obviously, because of beginner gains, but. It was only five months worth of <laughs> games anyway, but yeah. Um, I put a few videos before I used to do, you think you made some stick, you made some stick with two yeah. buckets and put some stones in there and it was bench press and you didn't yeah. do nothing else, just bench press. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's, to be fair, it's better than doing nothing. So after about, how many months of lockdown? Six months? Yeah, six months. Six months lockdown, he started back. Like we all did, or like two months ago, um, and he probably got on top of his stuff. So he was eating in a curry surplus, about three thousand calories. You are? Yeah. Three K. I did him a little diet pan. I, I even put that diet pan up. You can screenshot it if any of you people like his age, young boys, skinny boys, trying to get bigger. Do you know what I mean? I, we've all been there. Well, that's the type of audience I'm trying to hit anyway. Because me, I'm not so good, but I, I can do weight loss and stuff. But we're, we're more of a skinny guy trying to get big type of thing, but yeah, um, we got to two months ago, gym's reopening, nutrition was on point, so he's, his protein was high and whatnot, and in his training, he started to push my legs, because he felt like he'd got into the groove of stuff, I know we had a big break from the gym, but I mean, you, you, as long as muscle memory would have been there, so he started to push my legs as soon as it opened, and he just trained with me, so He's lucky in such a sense because he's got a mentor type of thing, so a person you can look up to and follow and give him all his advice. But for me, I, I teach myself. Get out. <laughs> Shut the door. Get out. <laughs> he's got a mentor, somebody you can follow and give him advice. Yeah, so obviously I'm uh, very grateful as I'm in as a mentor. Uh, if I didn't have him, I wouldn't know half the stuff I know right now. I'd still be making... Uh, a lot of mistakes. Uh, he's taught me so much about eating, uh, macros, my, my calories, uh, going to the gym. Every time I go to the gym with him, he's always telling, uh, telling me about my form, what I need to improve on, what I'm good with. Um, yeah, obviously I research a lot myself, like I'm always watching YouTube videos, always uh, searching up on the internet things I want to know. Exactly, I mean, I mean someone to like type of coach you is is good but it's not needed you don't need someone to coach you to get better I mean any anybody watching this could do it do you know what I mean it's not it's not hard you just gotta if you just gain information watch YouTube videos I'm sure like by now you'd be, know a lot do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. I mean I learned a lot within the first year just, just you're just learning more each time do you know what I mean so as long as you have someone to Watch your form. Record yourself to watch your form. Do you know what I mean? You don't need someone there for been telling you about it. Just record it and watch it yourself. So yes. I mean, 
It's basically like a uh, free personal trainer, really. <laughs> yeah. You don't need that though, like I say, you don't need it to make gains, but it just helps to get better. But like I said, for me, it was all training myself and I had to get all my information from YouTube, Google and whatnot. But um, yeah, his training, so his, tra his training was perfect because he's training with someone who's going to push him to do more and who's lifting higher weights, so he's going to strive to get them weights. If I was to say get a training partner, I'd definitely say get with someone, push you to do more type of thing. So. I like to train with people who are stronger than me because they push you and you want to, you strive to get to where they're at. But um, other than that, I, I pretty much train on my own. Oh, I, I, do, I mean, I do like training obviously because he's my brother and you want him to get better. But I push myself to the limit. But yeah, like I said, do find someone that you can train with that's going to push you and just make you get better because at the end of the day, progressive overloads where all at. So after starting back at the gym now, two months. Yeah. This guy he's don't say that, does he? I might say. But um <laughs> Yeah, he started back, he's gained over the years now, from September to September, about ten kilo. Yeah. Over the past two months of it happening, how much would you say you've gained through that? Of gym's opening. Obviously not ten kilo, because that's a stupid amount. <laughs> I say you got you going through them five months, wouldn't you? So since gym's reopened, I'd say you was probably about sixty-seven k. Yeah. Around that, so so he's gained what well, like four or five kilo yeah. of eating as much as he can and training as hard as he can. Yeah. So there's gains to be there as long as you take it seriously. Obviously, you don't go out or anything. I've know you haven't been going out or there's been no distractions from. So he's just been completely, completely focusing on his. Nutrition and training. Alright, so you've seen the photos where he's at now. He's 17, I remember. He's 17. At that age, that I was, I was not 71 kilo at that age. He's got, <coughs> like I say, he's got a class mentor. Well, I ain't gonna say it's a class mentor, but he's got someone to um, look up to, and he's literally the only way he's gonna go is up from you. I mean, I'm 20, I am obviously coming up 21 now, and I'm 85 kilo, and he's 17, so that's like three, four years younger than me. In that, and then you could tech you again, and get another 10 each year, I'd probably say. <laughs> and he's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger, man. So, like, through the process, would you say, um, what would you say worked best for you? So, obviously, you're starting to do his back. Well, if you had to tell yourself, in the past, when you started gym, would you change anything or tell me different to uh, From gym's opening, I think uh, I definitely stuck to my meals, definitely stuck to my protein, so my nutrition. calorie intake in nutrition, uh, stuck to gym a lot more. Uh, before Corona, I used to take days off when I wanted to really. Uh, I wasn't really consistent with the gym. But, but I would say though, days off, Rest days are very important when you're training. I mean, I don't like that. I get bored and I need to, I get itchy. And I need to do something, but rest days are important. Don't forget that. Yeah. yeah. But not too many of them. Yeah. Have them when you feel that you need them. If you don't need them, don't do them. Because at the end of the day, rest is where the body grows. So. So you're saying that you think nutrition is where you've seen the most progress since you've been eating well. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, if you don't, if you don't eat, you're not gonna gain weight. Like, and before I wasn't really consistent with my meals. And but you were still was, training hard. Yeah, I still okay. training hard, but uh, that's where it was going down in weight. That's going down in weight, and um, since obviously gender real burned, I stuck to my meals and I've gained, you know, a few kg over these past uh, a few months now. Can you tell us, get scared of the camera, like. Why are you he, he wants to do something, he wants to go into something like this. <laughs> you gotta get used to it. Remember my first video? You recorded my first video? <sighs> but yeah, like I, that's the same thing I say for everybody. Nutrition is number one. You you won't, if you're eating, not if you're not eating a lot, and you're not eating your protein, you ain't gonna gain muscle, you just go into the gym to burn a bit of calories. Literally eat and hit your protein goal. Because even if you're trying to lose weight, I say, I go, I spoke to one of the boys earlier, he's about 
80 kilo and he's he's quite small so he's to frame to lose weight I say you keep your protein high so you don't lose muscle mass and keep your training hard so that you've been a calorie deficit but you keep your protein high so you won't let your second so you lose muscle mass but for us we just need to eat eat and eat because there's more of the skinny I think it's ectomorph the skinny type of body shape trying to get bigger the hard gainers that's what you call it but anything you think you've done bad apart from obviously starting the gym early and not following the nutrition would that be your advice just to that you just follow your eating pro yeah, program yeah. like when i started the gym mm. i didn't see the importance in eating mm. i thought to grow and to get bigger it was, good it was, the gym. It was going to the gym and i didn't see yeah the importance in eating you know like two thousand three thousand calories a day i didn't see how that would help grow your body i thought it was all in the gym but now i realize that um you go to the gym to build your physique and tone your body. Tear your muscles, but then the food's what fuels it. Yeah. Mm. And that uh, helps you grow then. Mm. So, I mean, man, is it, is every beginner make the same mistake? But the quicker you get into it, the quicker you're going to go. Like I said, 17, 71 kilo. Lifting every week, some, some, most of the boys I know, but um, don't tell them I said that. But yeah, um, like I said, man, it's good to be a coach to this kid and make him achieve his goals as quickly as he can possibly can. I don't have that luxury like but what you do. It's all a process. You'll never be in my shape, but I'll tell you what, so we'll never look as good as me. <laughs> tell him he should start a YouTube channel, don't he? Tell him people. DM him. Same Joe Parry, not Jake Parry, Joe Parry. Say tell him he needs to fucking start. It's the earliest start. That's a new great I have for starting stuff is if I could change anything it would be start earlier. But obviously there's certain factors that come into it like but you know, you don't get into that now anyway. But yeah. You've seen his photos, you've seen his progression. If you've got any questions at all about weight gain and how to get bigger as a skinny teen, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on YouTube, you know, you know all my socials are in the description anyway. I'll be happy to help. You know, I ain't gonna charge anybody saying so I ain't made it yet to help, but make sure you share the video, show if you've got a little cousin, a little brother, anybody who's trying to get bigger, a little boy who's trying to get bigger, wants to get into the gym more, wants to look better, show him this video, it'll give him some pointers on what to do. Thanks for listening and remember keep whacking. Later.